to our first impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. It's here taking a look at a new browser-based collectible card game called Kings and Legends. This is a strategy game turn-based browser collectible card game. That's right. You can see all these different actions you can do based on cards you are playing. It does have several lanes, which we'll see later on. For now, it's just one. It's a tutorial. It's a fairly intuitive game. You have attack and defense. You have different abilities like armor or range. And your decks are a maximum of 11 cards. So it's a little less luck based than some collectible card games. But there are also booster packs, so you got some luck from just collecting your boosters. It is a free to play game. There are microtransactions, so you can buy gold, which is what you would use to purchase items. Well, booster packs. Or you can earn in-game currency silver by playing the game, doing quests, and fighting with other players. You can see I'm working on the tutorial right here. This also is a quest. You level up. As your character levels up, you can buy better packs, and you can equip gear on your character, which will affect their stats. Right now, my guy is basically pretty straightforward. He's got nothing on him. Also, you can pick a class for your character, which will affect kind of the style of cards you're going to use later on. But for now, it's basically just pick your 11 best cards and go at it. You can see you can only place cards in the first three spots in front of you, so keep that in mind. Also, generally your heroes only hit straight ahead, so if someone gets to rank 1, you're going to have a hard time fighting them off. Not only can you cast heroes, you can cast spells too, so you can have spells that maybe will just outright kill an enemy. So that's something to keep in mind too. And your guys do have a limited number of movements, so if I want to charge way over there, I gotta get right in range. Looks like that. The other thing is the when you can use it. You can't just use all of your spells all the time. When you draw the cards, you have to wait a certain number of turns. That's the number on the top left when it's in your hand. When that ticks down to zero, then you can play it all. So let's skip through the tutorial and get a little bit more of an advanced game. Alright, this is going to be another gets another AI opponent. There is player versus player in this game. You can go to the arena and fight other people. But this is going to be a one versus one against the AI. You see there are two lanes now. Looks like I can't have my guy turn around and hit the answer. That's good. But when it gets to that row, it's going to start hitting me. So I want to deal with this. You can see I'm going to put a guy with a little bit more defense in front of these two guys right here. And then this guy's got armor, so we can kind of slow this lane down for a little bit. Alright, dealt with the guy that was hitting me. Now I gotta put someone right there. Looks like he's putting guys here too. My archer is at three range. He will sit back as long as he can reach, so he won't move forward if he can shoot somebody. I'm gonna put this in front. I wanna keep the archer alive, so I'm gonna keep things in front of the archer. You can see that one hero jumped in front of the other one, because the other one has two range on his attack, so the other guy can get in front and swing the one, yeah, like that. Looks like we're just about finished with this match. We'll take a look at some of the interface and then do maybe a PvP arena match. Alright, here's the basic city. Here is your collection of cards. You can edit your deck however you want. Early on, a lot of times you'll just pick choose my best of cards and it'll do that for you since there's not really a mana progression system in this game like there is in like Magic the Gathering sometimes just picking your best cards, at least you got a good collection where you can make a theme is probably the best thing you can do but since I got a little bit more cards I'm gonna start picking and choosing a little more that and you do have to keep in mind the number of turns it takes to bring things in you don't want to just be dead before your, all your good cards come out if you have nothing but just the most powerful cards later on. If all your red cards take three or four turns to come out, and you're in a really bad position by the time they do come out. You can see you got a guy over there with one armor, so he takes one less damage. Looks like we have three lanes going here. And I do have a fireball, which can directly just do four damage to someone, and then one damage 
each additional turn is a burn. So, just kind of reading through the text, and this is still kind of the tutorial. We're actually going to skip through this one, seeing probably the basic combat. We'll look at a little bit more in the interface, and then finally go to arena match. And here are the packs. You can see you can buy them for gold, silver, or... I'm not quite sure what the third currency is. Silver you earn from doing quests, though. I think the other one might be something from daily quests or something. But, you see I can only use the novice packs because I'm too low level to get anything higher level. So if I were to maybe decide to back the developer and get some gold, I'd probably wait till I was a little higher level and get some higher level packs, but... That's just for now. Like, there's my quest. You do see here's a quest you can complete. You do have a limited number of them for dailies also, so you can get new things to do every single day. Some of them are just basically kind of like achievements, where you just kind of log in every day and you get bonuses. So, just being an active player, you get rewards. You also do see there is like a city you kind of can navigate around. This is the arena, this is where you go for player versus player, which we're going to go and check that out right now. Alright, here we go, we got a rematch going, and one of my quests is to do two vers one versus one, so I'm going to try that out. Just waiting to see if I can get a random opponent. There we go. Hopefully it gives me someone around my level range and has smart matching. Otherwise that would be kind of rough, especially for newer players. But we're all new now because this game is just released. Looks like I got a lot of my higher end spells for the, the first turn, so I did customize my deck a little bit more. I kind of went for high defense and then a bunch of archers, so... And I also have a fireball, which... Nice for that guy. Oh, you're gone. I'm focusing on the bottom lane right now. Looks like he's throwing a little on the bottom. Nice, throwing most of his on the bottom. Okay, oh, one guy up top. Remember, the decks are 11 cards, so after you use all 11, that's it. And you do have a mulligan. You can just shuffle your deck and draw new cards to the beginning of the turn. Or beginning of the game. So I got a mounted... Cavalry over here, he moves two extra spaces, and I think that one has armor. I got an archer, I'll probably... Yeah, I'll just do that. So what I'm going to try to do is focus most of my damage on the bottom, keep my archers alive, and then just prevent him from hitting me from the top. I did see a PvE match where there was three lanes. I don't know if that's an option in the arena or not, but this one seems to be two. See if the guys jump in front of the archer. I hope they do. On the bright side, it looks like I cleared everything up. He's got an archer coming though. His archer's gonna kill mine, I think, before Mike can kill his. Yeah, there we go, I lost it. There are three ones. So three attack, one defense. And no armor. The guy at the top is slowing them down nicely. Let's throw him here just to make sure. I wonder if there's a way to get a draw on this game if we end up killing all of our stuff, like a guy with one armor that has one and then enemy with one attack and they just sit there and twiddle their thumbs at each other. Looks like my archer's dead now. That's not good. Alright. Let's see how you deal with that though. And it looks like I still have one more archer in my deck, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna be able to draw, I'm not positive. Ah, uh, this guy hits all adjacent, so he'll hit the guy up above him, too. Throw him up there, because he's got two range, I believe. Yep. Looks like they're out of cards. Looks like I'm out of cards, so... That probably takes care of that. Although he's got everything clogged, but eventually I will kill him. Let's look the game, check it out. Free to play. Seems like a fairly fun strategy collectible card game it's called Kings and Legends. And if you like the content, stay to more videos from MMO Play. Thanks for watching, and let's just finish off this enemy mage. I wonder if there's a way to concede, because that would be a little frustrating to sit there and have to wait through it. But there we go. Thanks for watching, and that was actually pretty fun.